Bonjour, Nindin, what am I going to do? Again, hello, my relatives. My name is Laura Ritchie, and I work for Le Couture Ojibwe College. Um, today, I'm going to be making another video for my Wild Food Wednesdays series. Um, this is a combination of videos and Zoom classes. This video I'm doing today is how to identify fiddlehead ferns. Today, we're going to be picking ostrich fern fiddleheads. These are a type of fiddlehead that I'm very confident in eating. Other fiddleheads, I wouldn't be so confident in eating. Some fiddleheads have uh, some toxicity levels and need special preparation to take those toxins out. Ostrich fern fiddleheads, you can really eat with um, pretty much any method of preparation. Some people eat them raw. I prefer to at least blanch them. Um, but these are a very safe fiddlehead fern to eat. So here is a typical ostrich fern environment. You want wet and damp soil. You can find them in drier places, but you'll generally find more of them in a place like this. Here is an ostrich fern fiddlehead sprout. This stalk kind of resembles a little bit like a pineapple and then also still attached we have the two reproductive fronds these are last year's fronds so this is a pretty much perfect example of what you want to look for uh, when you're looking at an ostrich fern a lot of times they'll have this brown papery covering then if I bend that over you'll see they have an almost celery-like indent in the stem. So it'll be a nice U-shaped indent in the stem. And they have that indent pretty much from the time they're tiny to the time they're full grown. Uh, they can have anywhere between three to seven fiddleheads coming out of one um, central point from the rootstock. So I usually uh, try to harvest only two of them per rootstock. I put them in a cloth bag um, or a paper bag. Plastic makes them wilt a little bit faster. 